Oh, what's up guys? It's uh, January 23rd, 2024. We're at Conquista 43. And for this day, I wanted to wake up at 8 a.m., stretch at 9, do pilots and cosmetics at 9.30, edit at 11, stretch at 1, uh, eat at 2 p.m., and then go to work at 4, and then go to sleep at 12. Uh, I forgot to put what time I went to sleep. I actually do remember it was like 12.05 or something like that. And this is the one I did yesterday, so we're up to speed now. We're up to speed. And yeah, now you'll just be getting one Reconquista a day. And I'm going to be focusing on putting uh, other types of videos in the channel. So we're up to speed. What I actually ended up doing is walk about 8.30. So kind of late-ish, but better than usual. I stretched at 10.03. Um, usually there's those time differences in between. Because I have breakfast, I brush my teeth, I do a lot of things that I need to do anyways. And then I do these things. But these are just like the main things I want to focus my day around. Because if I put every little thing that I do, it's going to be kind of annoying, right? Like, oh, I brush my teeth at 2.30. And then it's kind of like, why, why are you putting all that? Um, I did pilots and cosmetics at 10.51. My right ankle is getting stronger through these, I think. It's a lot of like jumping and stuff like that. And I, I can see that there's like some structure. There's a little bit more power on my right ankle. Like when you're elevated and when you're jumping just with that foot. I edited at 2 p.m. So pretty late. And then I did strat at 3.41. I ate at 2.15. I went to work at 4.30. And then I went to sleep at 12.05. As for daily production, I did zero TikToks. I did three Bumble Prime. And I did $70.45. And that has brought me to $159.20 out of $154. So we're ahead on the week, and that is pretty good that we're on schedule. As for fix, I said uh, make a intro for this series. I feel like I need to make an intro because people are not going to go all the way down to uh, Reconquista 1 to kind of learn what this series is about. So if I make about like a 30-second intro, just describing what I'm going to be focusing uh, just to have it in the series and so new viewers can see uh, what I'm trying to accomplish and they can like hop in uh, like Reconquista 43, which is this one, right? Without having to go all the way back to see what I'm doing. As for the fix, I also put a uh, plan new schedule, new schedule, uh, adding uh, music, uh, the Bible, soccer, and trading, which are the four things that I'm mostly going to be focusing on. And I've had this since the first day. These are first day things. I know I said I wanted to take this um, in parts, but I think I just need to have them every day. So I'm slowly working towards something. I do have, I used to have soccer every day. Not anymore because of the snow, but there's other things I can do. I think the soccer thing could also be just training because I am training my body. I am getting leaner. I'm looking forward to getting faster and building more endurance. And for music, I've had... I've included it a couple times. It is not a daily thing that I do, um, so I'll include that. And also the Bible, I I, I want to get through it. Like I said, I'm build, I'm doing another series on this channel where I go through it and just kind of give my thoughts as I'm annotating it. And also trading, uh, which is something that I am learning, something that is on schedule every day, something that we struggle to do every day. But um, I'm getting better at it. And I've actually done a little bit of training this week, uh, just a Robin Hood. If I make money, I'll show you guys. And if I don't, I'll show you guys as well. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I'm getting back to that. Um, so yeah, coming from a tough day yesterday, uh, no to reflection. This one was a little bit more hopeful, more about what I should be doing in the future, how I, how I should bounce back. So I put, uh, I don't know what to say today. It was a pretty sad day knowing my sinful actions of yesterday. I've been pretty bummed out all day listening to Pretend by Dave Jebu to get more sad. <laughs> yes, I was listening to this one song I found. It's like, a, it's not a sad song, but it's kind of a sad song. Just to get you in that mood when you're more sad. And yeah, I mean, it goes just to show the media you consume kind of, it's what the, the emotions gives you out. So I want to get more sad. So I listened to some music that would make me more sad. But uh, I got over that after a while. And um, yeah. Well, that doesn't help anyone. <laughs> yeah, I really, I really do think social media, music, images influence my thoughts. I need to do a cleanse of everything that goes against Christ. This all made me think a lot about myself and who I want to be. A lot of times I've chosen the easy solution, but maybe it's time 
uh, to suffer for a long time to achieve a goal. And that almost goes back to what I was thinking about I was saying that was the, my TikTok adventure that I've been going through because I've been trying to do TikToks to get easy money, to make money come in so I can get rid of all my debts and I can truly focus on, on those four things that I talked previously. Um, but maybe I should be focusing on those on those four things the whole time uh, right now and, and like just using my time to focus on those things. And maybe it's going to take a long time for me to make money or get anywhere with them. But I just need to do it instead of doing these side things and then eventually get to it. Um, so, yeah. Why must everything be fast? All that's been in my thoughts is to go back to the basics. Focus only on Bumble Prime. Focus on only on God, soccer, trading, and music. I've been trying to find other ventures to free my time to pursue these things, but I, I need to just pursue them now anyways. Potential is for kids. As an adult, you either do what you say you will or you cope yourself to death. So yeah, I think um, I heard this recently somewhere that potential is only for kids. Like When you're growing up, when you're 12, 13, 14, 15, you have potential. Right? You have potential to be a really good student. You have potential to do this. You have potential to be that. And that's about the only age where, where we truly have the potential to be something. And then I think once you grow out of it, once you're like in your 20s and 30s, you have to perform. You either you either have to do it. Like the potential is, of course, there's potential, right? You can, you, you can do this, you can do that. But uh, it's not like, it has to be more concrete. You can, it can't just be like in your imagination like oh yeah he could do this and then you imagine it no you have to start working towards it because but there's no like potential for those you either perform it and and you either do it or you're just coping and then you're just waiting i'm tired of doing the latter i'm tired of of the me who copes i must become a person who performs a person of action a person of character a person of honor a person who means something um and then I put it in my last sentence, why not me? I've always liked that sentence too. Uh, because I always think of like uh, like these people who have accomplished great things and people who have done a lot with their lives. And uh, I'm always like, well, well, like, why not me? Why can't it be me? Uh, uh, like, am I missing something that they had? And then you look at their stories and you look at uh, how they did it or, or how they went about it. And it was all truly because they focused on, on their goal. And they, they believed in themselves and they, and they put in all that work to get it done. Um, and then I think about my son, like, are you doing that? And sometimes, most of the time, actually, mo mostly all the time, I'm not, right? I'm just like, I'm not in it like they were. So I always think about that, like, oh, like, why not me? Why can't I do it? Why can't I be the one, um, you know, to have some success in these things? So that always kind of hypes me up because I'm like, I can do it as well. I will try to do it if it doesn't work out, but it will. You can't think like that because you're already coping yourself out. You're already, yeah, fuck that. Because you're, <laughs> you're already like giving yourself an out. No, no, I can have that success myself. You know, why not me? Why can't it be me? Um, so, yeah, I always like that sentence. I always thought that sentence was hopeful. It's, um, it, I mean, now that I'm repeating it, it kind of sounds like, I don't think it's egotistical or anything now or like selfish or stuff like that. It's just like saying like, why not me? Like I can do it too. I would try to do it as well. It's kind of being hopeful for yourself. You know, you believe in yourself kind of thing. So yeah. And as for the calories I had today, it was 1,910 uh, and I weighed 241.8. So we're getting closer to that 240. I am sure that in the next week or so, we're going to get to the 230s. So let's just get to it and let's just keep eating well and keep uh, working out well and we'll get there. So yeah, I'll let you guys know if I plan a new schedule. That'll probably be like starting um, Monday. So we'll see how it goes. See you guys next time.